Welcome back. Ever wonder if there's a formula to a successful business? Entrepreneur and business coach Kane Mingus thinks there is. Well, he should know. He has created five multi-million dollar businesses and worked with top executives at Fortune 500 companies. And in this week's Up Close With, he shares with Money Minds Ellen Lokajaya on the winning formula to a thriving business. Business coach Kane Mingus likes being right at the front of the stage, and it's where he's most comfortable. His own road to success was inspired by some business coaches at a seminar. He was 22 then, broke and homeless. By 30, he had created over 20 companies. Some failed, but five became multi-million dollar businesses. With the knowledge he has gained through his own successes and failures, he's now teaching businessmen the steps to be taken to build a successful business. He has shared the stage with famous business personalities and coached key personnel from corporations such as Apple, Coca-Cola and Microsoft. So what are the biggest mistakes that you know, entrepreneurs make? The first area is how do you think like an owner? So owners think a certain way. And owners own three things. They own a brand, so they understand how to brand. They know how to build relationships. So that's the second one is building relationships. And the third thing is they have a product or service that they own. The second area that we work with people on is how do they show up as leaders? So owners and then leaders. Leaders are people that are innovating in their market and they're able to get people's attention and create opportunity. So we look at how do you think about marketing yourself and leading your industry. The last area is what we call being a closer. In other words, how good are you at selling? Presenting, pitching, selling, one-on-one, -on -one, one on many, any environment, whether it's media, newspaper, whether you're pitching ideas, pitching for capital, people need to understand how to own their businesses, create opportunities, and then be able to close business into money. And you know, the funny thing is, is that a lot of people in the world, it's very common that people hate the conversation about sales. They feel like sales is icky or they don't want to talk about being a salesperson. So should they have the skill set before they start their business? Or? Somewhere in the 90% of businesses that get started fail in the first five years. And that's because most owners or business people who start, they have a passion. Maybe their passion is they want to work for themselves. Maybe their passion is that they love something like music or they love you know, writing or they love technology and they want to work for themselves and do their passion but they don't understand how to run a business. So your question is, should people understand it before they start? I think they should start before they understand it, but then they need a coach. You talk about personal branding. I mean, how does that, what is it about and you know, how does that work? Personal branding can help accelerate your business faster than anything else that you do these days because people like to do business with people. With social media, we've gotten used to getting connected to people so personally. You can get on Facebook and you can look at what someone had for dinner last night, right? Or where they're traveling today. So personal branding helps the human being connect to their customers. And that is very magical. However, if you do it wrong, you can really damage your brand. And if you do it right, you can really accelerate your business or your brand. So we teach what's called the five M's of personal branding. And the five M's is a system that I developed from the years of being in the music industry and noticing how did we take singers and artists that were just okay or not that great and turn them into real superstars? And that's really the real secret is that you don't actually have to be that good at what you do. Now you should always be, I always say, be as good as you can be. But the best brands in the world are not always the best quality products or services, but they're doing the best at the marketing and the sales. So what are the five M's of personal branding? The first M is makeup, how you dress and what your professional label is. So many people say when you ask them, what do you do? They say, I'm an architect or I'm a real estate agent or I'm a financial advisor. And that label commoditizes them. You go, oh yeah, you and 12,000 other financial advisors, right? So we teach people how to powerfully brand themselves. It's like when I came into Changi at the Singapore airport, you immediately see the world's most awarded airport, right? And that's a marketing technique, it's a branding technique to say, hey, we are the world's greatest in something. And so we teach people how to do that and how to find the areas that they're really exceptional at and brand themselves. The second M is message. What's the message you're sending? The third M is method. What is the system or the process that you have figured out in your head that helps people move from A to Z? It gives them a result because people buy results. So what is the process that you put them through? The fourth one, is your moments. 
And these are the stories of your life. People love stories, and they want to learn through stories. Today, the people who become the best leaders in the world, and the best leaders of industry, are quite good story storytellers. So the question is, what are the stories of your life? The fifth is metaphors. And these are the images that you use as part of your branding. And it's through that branding uh, formula that people can develop their brands and they can use that formula to emerge with a powerful personal brand. Information businesses. Through training sessions like these, Kane helps business owners not only better market themselves, but also improve their bottom line. And he explains how he works with businesses to achieve this. We say, look, we want to work with you on a specific project and create a specific amount of revenue out of this project. So we set up our KPIs, our key performance indicators. And we say, look, over the next six months or over the next year, and we ask people to work for us at least a year, if not longer, in one year, we're going to achieve X. And X is going to be a derivative of the reality of what their company is at. If they're earning 100000 a year in their business, taking the 10 million is not realistic, right? But if they're 100000 and they want to get to 250000 over the year, OK, great. So we look at that $150,000 gap, and we say, great, here's how we get there. We help them with a strategy. They get a leadership coach. So they get two coaches. They get a strategy coach, and they get a leadership coach with us. And then those coaches work with them throughout the entire year to make sure they're achieving their targets and applying the strategy. It's very powerful. And that's our show for this week. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or comments, do drop us a line on channelnewsasia.com slash moneymind. Find us too on Facebook and Twitter. I'll see you next week. Bye.